Crows by 36 points at quarter time here at the Adelaide Oval over the Bombers. Let's go down to the boundary now for Bob Jane, Team Arts, Rhett Biglands. Uh, for the Bombers, they've got a wealth of experience in the coaching box. And when you've got former head coaches, Bluey McKenna and Mark Harvey, <laughs> launching at you because the intensity is not up, they were first at the players and they were redlining. And then Wusher came down and he is absolutely irate down here to all the boys a new one and he is ferocious when he gets going that's three blokes you don't want to upset good idea beagles down there let's go around the grounds other games now for near map aerial imagery yeah 19 gone in the second term at idiot and it's the suns leading the blues by one point 36 plays to 35 with tyson edwards let's get all the stats to quarter time for bosch power tools good better bosch tyson yes yeah, some bosch tool stats uh possession getters for the crows first of all uh jacobs with nine and three clearances for big source Laird, Crouch with eight, uh, Smith and Malira and Sloan on six. And for the Bombers, Collier and Goddard on eight, Danaher, Parrish and Watson all on six. Uh, as far as clearances go, Adelaide lead that 12 to seven. Inside 50s, 15-11. Essendon have had some opportunities forward. Uh, just need to make the most of them. Uncontested marks, 29 to 12, Essendon's way. So definitely trying to use the, the keepings off type style kick mark uh, but they just need to put a bit more defensive pressure on Ditz uh, to stop these uh, Crows boys from scoring I think there's no doubt about that Tyson Edwards with the comments there and the uh, Bosch power tool stats 9 to Adelaide, Essendon 3-2 for McDonald's, Triple M rocks footy second term underway, big source Jacobs farms out a wide handle, Sloan onto it, picked it up, flung in a tackle Zaraka should cut it off and does, gee the handball smothered there of Kelly, good work Adelaide through Atkins, handballs to Cameron, they won't Catch him straight into an open goal That's and from 30 out. I say they won't catch him. He was under a bit of pressure and he sprayed it wide. So first score just seconds into this second term. 9-3-57 Adelaide. Essendon 3-2-20. Triple M. Exitel scoreboard. Yeah, almost the perfect start. He only had to look and see it was Goddard. He could have gone all the way. Run at the angles, toss. A lot of the boys like to kick it across the body. Hurley now, and I think the Dons have set up with an extra defender this time around. Danner comes down, you can hear the slap off hands, couldn't complete, and Menzel all alone. The quick kick came in, and he has marked 45 metres out, 10 metres in from the boundary. Just wanted it at the source, didn't they? Nice crumb from Sloan, a, a quick quick forward, a little bit lucky to be uh, to be on your own there, but uh, you win it at the, at the source, at the contested possession, which uh, Rory Sloan is pretty reasonable at, boys. Yeah, he sort of developed nicely in that area, hasn't he, Tyson? <laughs> Tyson Edwards with the Seabus super special comments. Menzel now back in this week. Stiff to go out after the first round, but squeezed because of a talent issue with the left foot and always has it to the left hand side and through for a minor score. And they now get along to 9 4, 58. Margin is 38 points early here in the second quarter. 3 2 20, the Bombers. And that is on the Triple M Exitel scoreboard. Hurley in straight away now to Zarakis in the back pocket. Another short pass is on Goddard. He turns and plays on quickly. The veteran goes with a left boot and not a good effort. He hits Smith right on the chest. It was meant for Joe Watson. Smith now fires it inside 50 over the back. As easy as you like. Tex Walker. And he's 25 metres out. He kicked four in the opening term. Lining up for his fifth. What his record is, boys. Big Texan. He's heading for it. Whatever it is. Just a turnover. I look like, uh, I don't know whether there's a bit of a change in game plan about that, but Goddard just got it and went, didn't he? Tried to go up through the corridor and, and missed miss the kick. Option was was okay. Just missed that kick. Another, another Bosch tool stat that uh, John Worsfall wouldn't be happy with. Tackles, 18 to 7 down at the moment. He's got five, the captain of the Crows after four last week. 10-4 they've gone to now, early in the second term. Gee, they might kick a big score here tonight. 10-4-64, Essendon 3-2-20. Triple M Exitel scoreboard. The uh, Bombers need to shut this down, Tyson. Yeah, well, obviously uh, winning out the source is, is the, the best way to do it. But um, if you can't do that, then tackling's the next next best. And uh, they've only had seven tackles for the night so far. Seven. So that's not going to cut it. It's when you're not getting Three. the ball yourself. And I think Tex, what he kicked 70 early against North Melbourne on a night game when we first got to Adelaide Oval. I'm feeling he might 
I'm going to get eight somewhere. I'm not quite sure, but the kick was perfect too out the back. He just protected the space against Ambrose. And the big Texans on fire here. Saturday night footy, Adelaide Oval for McDonald's. Triple M Rock and footy. And the Dons are trying to hang on for dear life. Fantasia found it at his ankles, turned beautifully and finds Langford on a nice little lead. 35 out, dead in front. Good footy bombers. Easy game, isn't it? Went out the centre. Hit a nice little target, lead up forward and then hit a nice deep forward straight out in front of goal. What pressure, Toss. Adelaide didn't have any at all then. Exactly. Got to kick it. Just got to keep it ticking over. See if they can work their way slowly back into it. Langford. Found himself with a permanent half forward roll this year. Liked yeah. it the moment it left the boot. And they've got their fourth. And the long road back starts. 4-2, 26. The Crows 10, 4, 64. And we're just a tick over four gone here in the second term on the triple and Exitel scoreboard. Exitel NBN. That's the speed you need, Tice. Had some opportunities, the Bombers, uh, particularly early in that first quarter. Just obviously now need to make the most of them. Uh, Crows have got a fair lead now, but six, six and a bit goals. So nice finish there. They need some more of them, but uh, winning at the stoppage is, is a, a massive, um, massive plus for them at the moment. If they're going to try and quell the uh, Crows' dominance this early stage in this game. Well, it's the first one they've been able to walk out all night. So back in the middle now for McDonald's. Triple M rocks football. Can they go back to back? They need more of the Bombers. In the middle, Lewenberger went very, very early. His on balls are winning this one. Heppel now gets it out wide. Brown a chance, but cut off by Hampton. Heppel comes back in to help out. Tried to find Joe Watson. It was a throw, was it? No. In the back, Heppel gets a free kick. So they're having a moment here. Out wide now, Essendon. Zach Merritt takes him on. Bit of foot speed was good, but again, running far too quick and couldn't get it onto the boot. He just grubbed it to half forward, and now Miller cuts it off. His handball went too high. Essendon again through Merritt, win the footy back. Lewenberger handball now in front. Gee, over the top. They're in uh, tight here. They're messing around. Green got involved. Now it's Langford. Langford kicks high to centre half forward. Mark needed, but Sauce Jacobs gets back. He didn't complete the mark at ground level. Kelly. Jake Kelly handles backwards now. Laird. Laird now to Brody Smith. Back to Laird. Handling uh, in each other's pocket. Here they are. They need to just get it out of there. And they do. And the kick now hits McGrath right on the chest. Good pressure, Essendon, this time. And their forwards manage to keep it in there. And McGrath, oh, he don't want to have a shot at goal. He goes very, very short and goes to the pocket. Zarakis takes the mark. So they might go back to back here. Tell you what, it was good heat, did wasn't it? Twice they it worked was. hard, the Bombers, to get that turnover. Did, yeah, almost the uh, Crows sharing around a little bit too much. Just needed someone to. They had a couple options to kick, just find the mark, release the pressure there a little bit, but uh, Zaharakis gets a shot on goal here. So 35 out, right oh, forward kick. pocket. It was a great kick. In the old days at Footy Park, they called that the, uh, what, the real dead pocket, didn't they? But here at Adelaide Oval, he made that look easy. Very good goal. They get two in a row, the Bombers. 5-2-32, coming back at Adelaide, 10-4-64, Triple M, Exitel scoreboard. It was the old Tony Hall pocket, wasn't Tony it? Hall, yes, yeah. it was. Yeah. No, good start here in the second term by the Bombers. And again, got one out of the guts toss, but what I think pleasing for John Worsfold was the heat. I know yep. Adelaide overplayed it, but they were there to capitalise. They were working hard defensively. Yeah, and that's what happens when you do. You keep coming at the uh, opposition defence, trying to bring the ball out. They will flick it around a little bit and uh, you're hoping that they, they make a poor decision because you set up well defensively behind. Go down and see Biggles on the boundary for Bob Jane Tmarts. Yeah, really clear down here on the deck that the rolling press from Essendon was first class in that last little passage of play. In particular, Hurley and the veteran James Kelly. They had some great communication on the last line to hold that ball inside forward 50 for the Dons. And Cameron got ragdoll playing the weapon off the back of the square, but got rid of his man. Kick went to half forward. Lynch, surely a free kick for getting dragged down. Umpire said no. Little hot for Otten. Lynch goes again. Heard a voice out the back. Parrish now. He left it behind for the Bombers. Collier, too, got it intercepted. Hot footy here to be won. Laird just tried to get it on the boot and get it out of there. Cameron, you won't catch him. Get it back. Give it back to Cameron. Sloan ignores him as well. And in the end, checks the kick. McKenna was good for the Bombers and will clean things up after Adelaide made an almighty stuff up with the footy. It's a free kick off the ball. Advantage is paid, and the Dons are on out of sight if they can clean it and handle it with clean hands. So the kick now delivered to half forward. Crows have got numbers back here again. Talia, they do it well. They've got numbers. So now Laird just spins out of trouble, kicks it high along centre wing. One on one contest. There's a whistle, and it's going to be an Essendon free kick. Didn't see what it was for, but they've got it. Tice did he grab him with his arms? Yeah, it must have didn't see it. Yeah, so didn't Atkins, see it. Atkins was in front, Stanton was behind. 
and Stanton got the free. Short pass now, Zarakis towards the middle of the ground. Still defensive side of center wing though. He's almost on the halfback flank, really. Outer side of the ground. Fires it to the middle. Risky. Didn't find the target. Hampton got in, in there with a hand. How about O'Reilly Knight? Now Atkins delivers to half forward. It got there on the bounce. Essendon pick it up through Kelly. Oh, they've had a fumble here, Collier, but he's good enough to go back and regain it. And now they just steady again for the moment. They've got the ball at half back where it was a moment ago. So now Goddard goes to the outer centre wing. And the mark is taken out there by the big fella, Lewenberger. Tice, the Bombers want that 45 kick in board, but they want it so bad that Adelaide know it's coming all the time now. Yeah, almost pushing it a little bit too hard. And Goddard was the best example early in that quarter. Don't mind you trying to get there, but sometimes it's obviously not on. Need to take your medicine when you need to. And even the other one too, too you, sometimes you're going to tease a bit and get on the outside to open it back up through the middle. Yeah. Long down the line goes Ambrose. Oh. And Danaher does uh, his best impersonation of a suey. Getting off the uh, the pier down at Glenelg, boys, or at Brighton. And in the end, off hands and out of play. Bounty throwing right in front of the Triple M commentary box. Nine gone, 64-32. Crows by 32 points here. On a perfect Saturday night for footy here at Adelaide Oval. Sloan just hustled his way onto the ball. Couldn't get a good clear kick. Kelly won it. They end up getting it back to Hurley, the Dons. A little short number again. Heppel eases his man, McKay, under it. And off hands and out of play for a throwing. Oh, they're back in the game here, though, aren't they? So yeah, much, they are. much better pressure. That's what John Worsfall would have asked for at half time. Let's, let's come in, you know, close, a couple of goals down. So there was an opportunity. Margins 32 points here in favour of Adelaide. Lewenberger manhandled by Jacobs. Umpire said no. Handball comes out wide for Atkins of Adelaide. Gets the left foot kick away. That's his natural side. And Hurley reads it well. Out marks Otten this time. Hurley deep in the back pocket. Doesn't know which way to go. So now chips one short. Risky. Gee, they've made a couple of bad moves here. This one, though, Collier. Well played, Collier. Gee, he had taller opponents around him. They spoiled him, and he beat them at ground level. Over the back now, Danaher does well. Has a bounce. Runs to 45 and shanks it. Yes, Max, no. It's right through the middle. Gee, that's the worst <laughs> kick for a goal I've ever seen. It was horrible. Off his instep. It wobbled sideways, backwards, up and down. And it went a foot off the ground for 50 metres. And it's a goal. That's what you call winning ugly. A little dart from 45 metres out, floating left, right. But uh, nice little 1v1 win down here on the, on the uh, halfback flank. And uh, quick movement forward. Got the 1v1s forward of the ball. And uh, wow. well, it was a, wasn't a nice finish, but it was, no. a, it was a goal so in the end. Rolling Stones had a song, Winning Ugly, and we saw it right there. Uh, Collier was important in that. He was brilliant off halfback. So Essendon go to 6 2 38, Adelaide 10 4 64, Triple M Exitel scoreboard. The Bombers are coming back. Uh, half time at Eddie Head. It's the Blues by five points, and a bit of a melee on the way in, too, boys. A bit of feeling between the Blues and the Suns. Thanks to near map aerial imagery. And the Dons. Having a good crack here in the second term for McDonald's. Triple M rocks footy and McDonald tip and Woody. It's wrapped up in a lead tackle and illegal disposal, umpire says. Lead with a free kick. And this is the part they've got right. They've been able to deny the flow and the quick play of the footy toss. Yep. Lead forced to go out of sight. Menzel caught under that one. Getting over the top was early with a big fist. Somehow it didn't get out or it did just in the end. Before Lynch could get to it. And we'll get a boundary throw in at right half forward for the Crows. Bombers have definitely slowed them down, haven't they, Louis? Slowed the, the Crows' ball movement down. So I started to look after the corridor a bit more too and just yeah. that real heat around the stoppage toss. They were waltzing out way too easy. Bounty throw in. 75 around from Adelaide's goals. If you just joined us, the big Tex Walker in the absence of McGovern and Jenkins. He's got five. That's right, five already. Four in the first and one here in the second. McKay, little quick dumper inside 50. Where's Eddie? Sweating on it. There's Eddie. Oh, a little toe poke. Couldn't get it. Bagley head over the footy. No free kick. Got it to Tex. Had it spent before he got hold of it. The big Tex and was thinking six. And the Dons will try and run this one out. And they do. Good pressure this time again from their defenders. And they run it hard through the middle. But the handball's terrible. He went straight to Lever of Adelaide. And he now goes short to Riley Knight. I didn't pick up who it was. Was it McKenna that handballed straight to the opponent? The Irishman has made a, a mistake or two tonight. 
So now Charlie Cameron kicks to centre half forward. Essendon players everywhere, and they should be able to defend this one, and they do. Long handball came to Parrish. Now McDonald Tippenwaddy runs into trouble, goes one way, then the other. He shrugged three tackles, oh, handles over top. Parrish, Parrish just boots it, got rid of it quickly. Talia read it nicely, and they should repel, and they do. The Crows straight back now to centre wing. Miller remarks. Handball's on his outside now. Kelly. The defender finds Tex Walker, who's a long way from goal. Will kick it high and long to the front of the goal square. Over the back. And a one-hander! How did he do that? Bagley was all over him like a cheap suit, and he dragged in the one-hander. They love him here. Bagley had a really good position here, too, facing the football. And uh, Eddie just gave him a nice little shove in the chest. Stuck the mid out. Great catch. So Betts has got a couple. Got the chant going, Dits. Yeah, the big Eddie chart here at the Adelaide Oval. On his way in, Eddie, only 20 metres out. Makes no mistake. And they go up. He's in front of the Eddie Betts pocket. They love him there. So a steadier for Adelaide because Essendon have played really well in this second term. Just a couple of mistakes in the last 30 seconds cost them dearly. 11 4 70 Adelaide, Essendon 6 2 38. Triple M Exitel scoreboard. We've played 14 minutes of the second term. Well, Tice, defensive work from Bagley. Now you've got to spot that arm away. Yeah. Or you've got to be a bit stronger in protecting the drop. And Eddie always had the eyes because he knew the text kick was coming deep. Bagley had all eyes for Eddie, but then let him get first hit. And it's a big no-no when you're playing defence. You get the first hit in, so they've got to work out what you're going to do. Yep, no, very well. You should be a coach, Louis. It's a lot easier sitting up here, mate. <laughs> I can tell you. We spoke to Mark Harvey. He told us he had a plan. Biggles on the boundary for Bob Jane. T-Marts. A new string to the Adelaide midfield by Rory Laird going into the centre bounce more often than not. That's the trouble when you're going so well, averaging 28 disposals this year. And how good he is as the loose defender. Now getting a run in the midfield. Yep. He's been in the All-Australian squad in the last two years. Hasn't quite cracked it. Maybe this is it. Oh, taking a really nice mark was Lever. He letting looks, all players look, out. Looks fresh, Lever, after his. Uh, his Hang on a minute there, Ty's. Little turnover number here. Hooker laid the oh. tackle. Oh. McDonald tip and Woody gave it back. It was too hot. This is what they're going to clean up because this is where Adelaide kill you on turnover and they're going to be away again through nights. Yep, running hard here on centre wing member side. Hamble to Douglas. Over the top, Otten's loose. Big Andy Otten now. Kick the magical first goal of the night. Goes to the pocket. And that's a good mark. No, not Paige. Gee, I thought that was a good mark. Betts gets involved now to Sloan. Sloan in the pocket. Didn't know which way to go. Handball to an inboard. Did the right thing in the end. The handball comes back to Sloan. Has a shot at goal. It falls short. And through merit, they clear quickly. This is right here. Loose players on the outer side. Collier can turn and run. He's got about 50 to 60 metres to run if he wants. He has two bounces. Now he's held up. Should have kept going. Goes long. It'll fall short. No, comes over the back. Chance here for the Bombers if they can work it forward. No, they're cut off again. And Adelaide's defence too good this time. I reckon Kyle Hooker there, Tice. Thought his teammate could kick it 80 metres. Yeah, just needed a lead up, didn't he? Didn't give him much of, a, much of an option there. Yeah, just always working back. And Adelaide yeah, with Jake big Kelly's down. Yeah, two trainers with him. We'll watch that. Hooker just gave him a little touch up on the way past. Levers kick towards the arc. Adelaide half forward. Bombers have the footy. Hot again. Merritt under pressure. Can't get any space tonight. Collie attracts a big crowd, ran straight in. How will the umpire see it? He says no prior. We'll get a bounce. 70 out from Adelaide's goal. Kelly to his feet, shakes off the trainers. He's okay at half back. 70 plays 38. 32 point lead to the Crows. 16 gone second term. McKay tried to kick it forward, had an airy. Uh, Zarakis took it from Heppel. Another quick handball ends up wide with Danaher, who's in half back. He should be forward trying to mark these footies. Now Essendon through Parrish are a charge. Well done, the youngster Hamilton Heppel. There's no one inside 50. Short pass to Green is good. He's going to have to wait a long, long time. There's nothing on offer at all. So now he kicks right across half forward at the back. Watson, oh, he had it in his hands. He dropped it. Watson did all the body work. It was perfect. And he spilt the chest mark. Crows are away again. Riley Knight to Hamilton. Douglas. Douglas to the middle now. Big Tex Walker runs into trouble. He turns it over with a handball. Yeah, a little bit of Hollywood there from Tex. Heard a voice miss by an out and out country mile. Oh, Sloan put a head over the footy and upended Heppel at the same time. Adelaide on the rebound again. Otten to Lynch at half forward. Tex working back. Eddie in the pocket. Ignores that. Has to lower the eyes and does it beautifully and finds Hampton who just snuck inside 50. Let me watch. She's a fast game. This is an Eddie had type goal. Another short one oh, here to that's Eddie. Terrible. That's yeah. uh, That's poor checking. And Eddie allowed to play and on. That's even worse. Put him down for number four. 
The Eddie Show is in town on a Saturday night. Dinner and a show for Eddie Betts. Just on the counter-attack. They are flying. 12-4-76. 6-2-38 to Don. 17 gone. Second term triple in Exitel scoreboard. Tyson Edwards, un unexcusable defensive work down there by the box. Oh, they've done so much good work this, this quarter to get back in the game. The pressure's been better. The stats are pretty even now at this quarter as far as tackles and clearances and the, and the things we've been talking about that are important for Essendon. But um, just really poor defending. And then just to let Eddie Betts there run off the mark and, and have an easy snap, that's... Uh, it's not what John Worsfall would want, want to be wanting to see. Could have been your boy, the Irishman, too, Ditz. He's just no. a bit raw. Yep. Young Connor McKenna at the, the moment. The nuances of the game that he's uh, got to pick up on. Special comments tonight for Seabus Super with Tyson Edwards. Bounce down in the middle. Jacobs went early. Danaher's into the ruck now. Comes down to Sloan, who's having a big night. Bombs it inside 50. Hurley from four deep just punches it clear, but it's all the crows at ground level. Kick comes inside 50. This time McGrath marks. Oh, oh he's no. played on. Terrible handball, and Essendon have given away a free here. High tackle, so the mistakes continue to come, and Otten's going to get a chance to kick for goal. He's no. got a couple as well. He kicked the first goal of the night, which was an absolute cracker of a snap from way over on the flank. And another chance here inside 50. He'll kick from 35 out. So, Tyson, it's one thing to play at speed, but when you're under the pump like they are now, McGrath just got to settle himself down, get back. Wait for something to clear out on the fat side and get around get around the heat. Almost a tennis stat, isn't it? The unforced errors of, um, of Essendon. A lot of them being forced that have caused them some issues. So Otten on his way in now. Goal umpire moves a bit, and it's a minor score. A let off here for Essendon. 12-5-77. Pretty good kicking from Adelaide. Likewise, Essendon, 6-2-38. They just need a couple more goals. That's on the Triple M Exitel scoreboard. 18 gone, second term. McKenna goes short. Stanton, what are his numbers on the Bosch Tools stat sheet, Toss? Bosch Tools stats, eight for Stanton. We'll find a bit more footy again. Turning it over on the way out, Tex intercepts, 70. We'll lower the eyes, they're queuing up inside the corridor. Atkins has got it this time, is marked 49 metres out. But there was four or five, Tex could have hit up then. And that is the kick, Toss, in modern footy, because the press so high from the points. If you don't make a first good kick and move with speed, yep. they squeeze you up. And then when you try and force that next one, it's a real risky number. Yeah, you have to go quick. You've got to see that see that option and just hit it straight away. If you're exactly right, Lou, if you hold on to it, defence presses up and uh, shuts everything down. Then you just have to kick long down the line. Well, midfielders are wingers who kick goals are priceless. Atkins already got one. A little sideways shuffle. We'll get to the arc. Distance will not be an issue. The rat has a thump that. That is ball business. That's big from downtown. He's got a couple as well to go with Eddie's four and Texas five. 13 now for the Adelaide Crows here in the opening half. 13 583. Getting ugly again for the Bombers. 8 2 38. He's on the Triple M Exitel scoreboard. Bob Jane T. March, Brett Biglin's on the boundary. Well, we can see why there's so much leadership put into Dyson Heppel. He's the one who's down here for the Bombers at the moment, getting around to every play, even though the scoreboard is heavily lopsided. He's lifting his charges, getting around and razzing him up, and uh, it's a real testament to his strength. Good on you, Biggles, for McDonald's. Triple M rocks football. McDonald's McCafe. As the umpire gets set to bounce the ball again in the middle. Gee, Essendon, you feel from here a little. They've done so much good work in the first part of this second term. And now the Crows have just grabbed it by the scruff of the neck again. Playing too well at the moment. Great tap in the middle. Comes to Watson now. Out of the middle they go hard. Through uh, Orazio Fantasia it was. The ball over the back green. A chance run down nearly in the goal square. Off the ground they sock the one. No, Talia cuts him off. Well played, Talia. And out of defence now. Brody Smith kicks to halfback. Lynch went one-handed. Good effort out there. This time uh, through McKenna. McKenna, the Irishman, does well this time. And the Bombers go forward to half forward. Stanton's got the footy. Turns to Livers quickly. McDonald, Tim and Woody. Good mark inside 50. Loses a boot along the way. Gee, he was in against uh, much taller opponents. And he leapt in the air and pulled in a pretty good mark in the end. And he's, uh, what, 25, 30 metres out straight in front. You know, good strength in the marking contest there. That was a nice uh, rebound from the Essendon. Uh, quickly come through the corridor and uh, hit up Tip and Woody. Perfect position here to slot this one through. And they need this one, obviously. The scoreboard's getting away from them a little bit. Just to steady this ship here a little bit. 
Point. So in, uh, in all the dramas Essendon have had in the last couple of years, this fella's been one of the real success stories, one of the real finds to come out of the whole sorry saga. He kicks for goal and he gets it. Much needed one for Essendon. Well done, McDonald Tip and Woody. Very good young player he is. Big future ahead of him. They go to 7-2-44, trailing Adelaide 13-5, 83. Triple M Exitel scoreboard. Very handy player, Tyson. Absolutely. I'll give you some Bosch tool stats here, boys. Uh, for the Bombers, Goddard's the leading disposal getter on 16, Collier 14, and Merritt on 12. And for the Crows, Laird on 15, Sloan 14, and Smith and Jacobs on 13 each. Tyson Edwards there with the Seabus Super Special Comments, award-winning super for the building and construction industries. And just there on the Chemist Warehouse replay screen, boys, uh, just got his foot stood on, popped out of the boot. Nice little pink pair number there, Tyson. Yeah, they're nice and bright. Can't miss them. You were awfully black in your day, black and white. I didn't mind the white in the end. Yeah. Looked a bit faster, Louis. The <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> McDonald's, Triple M Rocks footy. He was fast and 300 great games for the Adelaide Crows. He goes Tyson again. Edwards. There he goes. Tip and Woody took him on. Little hit and hope forward. Hardigan to the lead. Ran into trouble as numbers around as they've had all night. And they'll get out through Brown on the outer side. The kick and hope. Will be marked by Kelly on the outer wing. And they should be able to reset here for another crack. The Dons, this time they decide to come via the Cape and get around this big press of Adelaide's. So the ball comes out of the members' centre wing. Zaraka sits under it. Oh, he tries to get around. No, couldn't get around. Cameron has to go backwards now, Hurley. And they're going to go back to where it came from. So a bit of a waste, this little passage of play. But Bagley's got it. Switches to the other side now. So from one wing to the other, Stanton's the man. He wants to go forward now. And he will. He'll drive it long to centre half forward. Oh, courage. Absolute right, courage. Man. As we always expect from this fella. And Rory Sloan gets crunched. And he picks himself up. He gets a 50 metre penalty. Hooker was the man that came in pretty late and just absolutely nailed him from behind. So Rory Sloan, another big game from him tonight. Wants to play on. Went to handball. No, nah, he's decided to go back. Now he handles to the running Laird, who's come up from defence. Laird now. Runs and kicks long to the goal square. Big pack of players. Off hands now. Who's there? Hampton was there for Adelaide. Getting back Ambrose. Ambrose handles to McGrath. They're under the pumpy of the Bombers. Do they get out of trouble? They do. Hurley marks in the back pocket. So I don't know what everybody expects Hooker to do there. You've got to come. You're a big forward. He gets in the way. You've got to give a little reminder that if you're going to jump in the hole. Absolutely. A, a, a free kick, yes. 50 yeah. metres, not so much for me. Mm. Long down the line. Hooker again. Tale got a fist up and over it. Out of play. I can also say, uh, Louis, how does Laird, yeah. Laird be free to give just a nice cheap little handle after you've had 10, 15 seconds to man him up? Yeah. I would have thought you'd be wanting to man up one of their best kickers out of the defensive end. 39 points the lead to the Crows. Beagles on the boundary. Bob Jane, T-Marks. Now the last goal to Essendon going to McDonald, Tip and Woody and a show of unity and equality at the start of the match with him and Eddie Betts doing the coin toss instead of the captain. goes again. Thanks, mate. Oh, McDonald, Tip and Woody was the man you spoke about. He was going so fast, he left it behind, Tice. They were out too. Chain of handballs got him in the corridor. Kelly should win a high free kick. Doesn't. Hustling now. Oh, McGrath, that's a throw. Turnover Adelaide now. Cameron gets it. And has Lynch broken back towards goal. Oh. Tommy Tengarn, he's off. And snap around the corner, bouncing, bouncing, and misses. And probably didn't deserve it after he was a massive cock up. He didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> Tommy Lynch there. Just walked off like he was on a Sunday Easter stroll, did? Gee, this is like a training drill now. On the turnover in this modern game, there were players with 50 metres to play with here, and now they've messed it up, Essendon. Uh, wrong decision again through the middle of the ground. There are players everywhere. Now the Crows have got it. Richard Douglas inside 50. One-hand mark taken by Charlie Cameron. He's told to play on. It wasn't far enough. He doesn't care. He just turns and goes bang and kicks an incredible goal. Around the corner from 48 metres out. That's a snap. I look forward to seeing this on the Chemist Warehouse replay. Now, the goal umpire has asked for assistance here. I think, did it touch the goal post? The goal? Can we please check if it hit the post? Yeah, we've got a review, review underway. Right, Chemist Warehouse, Gillette Pro Shield raises on display at Chemist Warehouse. We're looking at the replay now. Ooh. How do you see it, Tyson? It's a little bit hard to see at the moment. Just coming up past the post now. Do we see a... You need oh. Snicko, Tyson, is what you need. You absolutely need Snicko. Awesome, some dec decent cameras that uh, show it, Louis. Yeah, perhaps? that too. Gee, the goal umpire's in the perfect spot here. He's actually right in line with it. Has to be a goal. I think it's going to be inconclusive, is it, surely. Does that change its rotation just halfway up when it gets on the pad, maybe? 
Be a brave man to overrule that. Waiting, That's a goal. Move on. Waiting. Review completed. Confirmed goal. Yep, right out. So Charlie Cameron does click a very, very, very clever goal. It was a beauty. Tell you what, the snap. That's, yeah. That wasn't quite in my repertoire when I was playing. That's was 50 metres, field? that. Yeah. <laughs> so 14 690 Adelaide, Essendon, a 7 2 44. Triple M Exitel scoreboard for Bob Jane. Let's go down to Rick Biglands. What was the goal umpire looking at? Seriously, he was striped right behind the post be. and the ball. He couldn't <laughs> be any closer. I know. Yeah, he's asked for five different cameras, which are a thousand metres away. Baffling. Good uh, on you, Biggles. I like a bit of me time, Biggles. Just want to get it some air time, Louise. Fight on. Yeah, nothing wrong with that sometimes. Slow the game down a little bit, too. It's been a very quick game. Yep. Everyone a little breather. Let, it, let all your friends know you're in a state on a Saturday night in Adelaide. Back in the middle, Adelaide, super impressive. 46-point margin as we approach half-time for McDonald's. Triple M rocks footy. Lewenberger got over the top, but once again, sharked by Adelaide. Oh, Douglas sold himself into big, big trouble. And Fantasia able to wrap him up. Oh, no. Yeah, Tipping Woody oh, no, tried no, no, to no. take on advantage. Didn't have the Jets to get out. Turned over again by Adelaide. Led towards half forward. Texan too big, too smart. Little clever nudge. Got Ambrose under the footy. Sold some candy and then oh, laced out no. Eddie Betts. 35 out. Delicious. Delicious, was that? wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's skillful, isn't it? That was nice to watch. That just shows you what's going on out there. Tex feeling it tonight. He's got five. Eddie's going four, five. And Adelaide are going for 15 in the first half. We're not done with yet. Just made it look very easy. The ball, the ball's not an easy thing to do. And he just had all the time in the world. It's a nice big highway yeah. too. It's a mesmerising ties. Eddie from dead in front for number five to bring the house down. Oh, he made it work. It was slow through the air. It's a bit like a strike in the lanes. Ty's got it out right. And they're coming hard. Eddie's got five. And the Crows are just leading a merry dance here on a Saturday night. And what a great vibe to see Eddie come out and do this. He, uh, he missed an easy one too. Could have six by now. Yeah, he has. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the little chippy chippies going with his kick, has he? Not following through. But uh, that bit of play just sums up Essendon. They've had some opportunities going forward, but just some silly decisions. Tip and Woody tried to play on when they uh, had a nice free kick there. They could have just entered the ball long inside their forward 50. But unforced error there again. And uh, turnover goal. She was Tex Walker's in good touch. We've seen him do some beautiful things tonight. Just quickly around the grounds for near map aerial imagery, boys. Uh, the Blues lead it by five at Eddie Hat. And we just kicked things underway in the second half. 42 plays, 37 against the Suns. For McDonald's, Triple M rocks footy back in the middle. Crows with a clearance. Sloan took Matt Crouch, got it out wide. Connor McKenna put in a big hip and shoulder, allowed Heppel to come through, but his kick was smothered. Laird trapped the footy, just threw out a handball on his outer side. It ends up with Zarakis. Essendon a chance to go forward. Fantasia puts on the Jets, but got caught. Great defensive work again, but it ends up with Heppel. Heppel a snap at goal. And that's pretty desperate stuff from the captain. From way out left in the forward pocket. On his left side, his natural side, but it goes out on the full. Bosch tool stats. Essendon, 16 tackles for the game, boys. Wow. Bosch power tools, good, better, a Bosch. Got to be better than that, Tice, don't you? Overall average, I think, 67 a game. One thing you can bring is the heat. But they can't get it. Adelaide's hands, they just flick it around. Yeah, they've been very good, yeah. And it has been a quick game, so I expect uh, less tackles. But uh, 16 and a half is, is not going to do it, Louis. Might have a circle on it, that number, when they get inside, I think. Bounty throwing. Lewenberger tried to get it to the back. Matt Crouch there at Goddard for company. Cruising through was Merritt. Found in tight. And Hardigan has the final spoil of the first half, but it's been all the Adelaide Crows in an out and out clinic on a Saturday night. 15 6, 96, 7 2, 44 of the Bombers. The margin is 52 points as we head to the main break. Back on the other side, Tyson Edwards, a 300 gamer for the Adelaide Crows, will give us his thoughts on what the Bombers can do to stem the bleeding big time here on a Saturday night. The Crows by 52 for McDonald's Triple M Rocks Football. Shut up! The foot is on the radio! For McDonald's McCafe, Triple M Rocks Footy. This halftime break is brought to you by IGA Liquor. Make sure you stock up at IGA Liquor this footy season. Huge half of footy here for the Crows at the Adelaide Oval at halftime. They lead at 15-6-96. To Essendon, 7 2 44. Tex Walker's got five. Eddie Betts has got five. And they've been dominant all over the ground. We'll get to Tyson Edwards in just a moment. Bit of action, though, in the other game tonight. Uh, Tyler Lewis at Eddie Head Stadium.
Yeah, between the Suns and the Blues. Uh, let's have a listen to how our, our, our Triple M boys called it as the boys and the teams headed off for the halftime break. There's a little fracker. A little fracker. And look who's in there. Petrovsky, Seaton, Kurnow, Ed. Now players from both teams come up. They converge. And the umpires look around and say, bugger off, kids. And it goes again. Now they're coming again, Baz. Yeah, Duckett, he's getting in the way. Ablett's in there. Not sure what you're doing there for, Gaz. You can't fight. Oh, there That's we go. really starting to unload. May gets in there. Plenty of players around the pill. Emergency umpires charging on the ground. He's 200 metres away. A lot of jumper punches. Jumpers being ripped. Hall's in there trying to bang heads. Take over, Baz. Well, Swatter, they've split up, so thanks for that. There's nothing left to say. <laughs> Uh, a little bit happening there. Swatter and Baz in the team. Oh, it's Saturday night footy. Eddie had Bring back the biff. Scores Tyson Edwards, I want to know. <laughs> Quickly, though. You weren't a dirty up. player. Hey, 43 a You Eight weren't minutes. a dirty player. You're a ball player. But you, we're, we're, you're a fan now. You're on this side of the fence. We want to see a little bit of that. Does it hurt? Seriously? I don't think it. We can't fight properly anyway these days. It's, you're more, not allowed just, to. it's more just wrestling. So <laughs> what, about when Swatter, Come on. what about when Swatter says that, that get out of there, Gaz? You can't fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was contrary gold. It was the mums that changed all the rules back in the. What, 80s? Didn't yeah. want their boys getting hurt playing football. So the AFL said, oh, we've got to clean things up. Otherwise, the kids won't play. But come on, we're past that now, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't I'm want to see blokes decked behind. No, no. Play. I don't want to see dirty the players. The king hits and all those But how about we see no a way. bit of aggression? Yeah, nothing wrong with that, Dits. I'm all yeah. for it. Put, put it. the credit card machine away. Let them do it and walk in. Just do it so if it happens a bit more often or not, look, we're going to have to pay for fixed jumpers in here. So yeah. it's all going to cost us some cash. <laughs> uh, the Blues lead it by six at the moment. 49-43, 13 gone third term. And... As the boys suggested, a bit of feeling in that one. Big Tommy Lynch has got five guys. Gaz has got about 17 or 18 as well. All right, uh, around the grounds there for New Map Aerial Imagery. Tyson Edwards, uh, tell us about the first half here at the Adelaide Oval. It's been a quick game, boys. Very quick game, up and back. Um, Essendon, uh, I mean, you can look at the scoreboard and go, gee, they're, they're not even in the game. But they've had some opportunities and they've really, really butchered them. It's un sort of the unforced errors. Poor decisions that have uh, really cost them, and the Crows have, have killed them on the turnover. They kicked nine goals, five on turnovers already tonight. Nine, five. So nine goals, five, and five, one. Essendon kick off turnovers as well. So it's a bit of an up and back game, but um, it's I guess it's decision time now for Essendon. Do they uh, do they go all out, go quick, get the ball and just go for it, and probably make some more errors, or do they try and slow it down a little bit and and keep the ball off the Crows to try and restrict the scoring and. Restrict the blood coming out of their ears at the moment, Louis. I, I would have thought if they if they try and go quick here, they're going to get slaughtered. Get slaughtered. Yeah, that's the decision you have to make, and and does it matter? I mean, they're down by what is it, 50 points now already? Uh, does it matter if they uh, they get bitten beaten by another 50? Maybe it does. I don't know, Louis. But it um, well, does, really doesn't do anything for your process and your system because what they've got now is if they're going to continually go short and play that quick ball in motion game. You've got to see it and do it like you called it. If you don't do it, Adelaide have, have sort of smelt it and gone rock, so they're squeezed even up further. So what they've got right now is an opportunity. You've either got to take it and get past on the flick and then get out the back. And I think he needs to restructure his forward line because they can't beat Adelaide home at the moment because they've got plus two or three laying back. So you've either got to go, all right, we're going to have a spell for We're going to go longer down the line. We're going to keep you honest as defenders that you can't press up and play 20 yards in front. We'll kick it on your head. See whether you like that. And then if that works to a degree, then you can start going back inside. But right now, if I'm an Adelaide player, I'm squeezing up as high and as hard as possible because the heat's coming from behind from our forwards in defence. And that kick, I know you're taking it every time. I know those guys are coming through the middle with the lazy little low hands. I'm sweating on you. I'm yep. sweating on it because I'm, I'm smelling goals myself. Yep. And the pressure from Essen, I've spoken about the tackles. They had five in the first quarter. They've had 17 now for the oh, match. That's, that's not going to cut it either, Dits. It's miles away. Absolutely. I'm yeah. sure John Worsfold's talking about that at the moment in, in the rooms that we've got to put some more heat on because disposal-wise, uh, it's actually even. So it's not as if the Crows have had a heap more of the ball no. um, and they've had 31 tackles themselves. So you can, mm. you can do it. But um, it's certainly an area they need to improve on. Comments there from Tyson Edwards. It's our halftime break for IGA Liquor. IGA Liquor, make sure you stock up at IGA Liquor this footy season. Rhett Biggins has come up from the boundary line. Biggles talking a lot, obviously, about Essendon's mistake. But what are their spirits like? You're seeing them come on and off the interchange bench. What's it like down there? Well, I did mention that their captain was really uh, rallying the troops in Dyson Heppel and getting them up and going. The uncertainty they've got, Louis, that you're talking about, when they do win the footy, and that work the arc movement where you're trying to get a defensive chain link up, which they've been so good at it in the recent weeks, but they're just uncertain. It's second guessing themselves. Do we go wide? Can we have a look up the middle? Whereas when Adelaide are winning it in half back, they're actually just banging it. Have a crack, 
I'll hit the target, and their skills are far more superior at the moment. I think if they can trust this, trust themselves with that switch, with the speed of play, and then the spread, they'll get Adelaide on the defensive run because they, we know how good they are at linking up and that one where you handle over the top and get the overlap. We just haven't seen it today, and I think it's been a bit of a, an uncertainty in their back half. Tell you what, Toss, I'd also like from a bomber's point of view to see a little bit more run and share the footy out of stoppage. It's okay to hit that kick. But as a back six or a back ten in a press, I'm just adjusting every yeah. time you move it. Yeah. But it, but if you bring the footy with you, if it's Merritt, Goddard, if it's it's Fantasia who played some good stuff there at the end, by sharing the footy around, you draw me up. So you create the space out the back a bit. So then the next guy who's on the last line, am I coming up to the next one? So if you're a key forward, you can get out the back or get on the 45. They don't draw Adelaide up. And if they do, Adelaide are up right in their faces the moment it comes and they cause a spill. Yeah, and that'll make that'll make Adelaide defend at their best too. Yeah. And obviously, there might be, you know, you're encouraging some more errors with that because you are throwing the ball around a little bit more. But for me, if I was a coach, I'm trying to win. Let, let's not try and stem the blood flow. Let's just have a crack, see if we can uh, we can get some score on the ball, get some easier goals. Second halves do open up a little bit, so maybe that, that'll work for us, for pull them a little bit, Dits. Biggles, you're a ruckman. How have you seen Lewenberger's work against Source Jacobs? No, I actually think uh, centre bounce work is uh, probably taking the advantage over Source Jacobs. I think he's flying at the ball at its highest point. And when he's had a bit of backup work as well in the centre bounce as far as... Um, not only Lewenberger going up against Andy Otten, but when they've had uh, Big Danaher go in there, I reckon they've had the ascendancy, but it's just the, the ball in dispute. When there has been a ball at 50-50 dispute between Adelaide and Essendon, they've like, they're diving on a grenade at the moment, Adelaide. They are really wanting that ball, and the desperation in there, I reckon uh, Wisher would have been about their intensity and making sure that when you do see that pill and you can set a tone for the rest of the team, get on it, dive on it, don't let it cough out, because... On the spread, Adelaide are far too quick. You can follow this game, hashtag AFL Crows Dons. Um, number one for contested footy. I know small sample size already, the Adelaide Crows. It was the area they got pantsed in in the semi final against the Swans. They look like they've rectified it twice. They look like they've found some guys who are the ability not only to get hands on it first, but once you win it, make it really hard for you to get out of there. We've seen the good sides like the Dogs and a few of the other top teams be able to hand, handball their way through these hot presses, this real attack on the yep. footy. Adelaide now, for whatever reason, are able to not only get you and force you an error but the next line is already up in your face so the moment you get out in space I'm tackling you and coughing up you know they average 79 points or something off turnover it's just ridiculous yeah. at the moment and it, the system that they've got whatever the tweak that's been whether it's a few more bodies they get there or it's the outside speed I don't know but they've fixed it and fixed it in a real positive way yeah well they're up contested possessions are up by 15 uh, thanks to Bosch tool stats which is which is a nice position to be in um, and, and as we as we have mentioned that's an area that uh, I'm sure they're talking about Essendon in the rooms of moment. let's get our tackle numbers up let's get our contested possessions up then, then you know you're winning it at the source and putting some heat on and then you can get those uh, those those balls going forward and give us give their forwards an opportunity to go one out against um, against their opposition because forwards love it one out um, hey Tice going forward Josh Green obviously playing that deep forward as well at times but Joey Danaher hasn't been aware of whether or not he's playing from behind or in front as the lead-up. He's been caught out a couple of times. There have been probably a few free kicks which could have gone his way, but he's just not sure about the space in behind or coming up at the footy. And I, I think there might have been a bit of miscommunication in the lead-up to the game about what his role actually is because it just doesn't look certain. Yeah, and I guess it's a little bit the way Essendon are moving the ball as well. They've, they've yeah. you know, as we said, they've made some unforced errors and... And as a forward, it's pretty hard to read when uh, when they throw the ball around, turn it over, you've got to adjust, you're in defensive mode, then you're in the offensive mode when they turn it back over again. So it does make it really difficult as a forward. So um, I'm, I'm probably not too critical of, of the Essendon forwards tonight because uh, they haven't had great opportunities, to be perfectly honest. I'd be putting a little bit more heat on my, uh, my midfield and defensive end to put some pressure on and, and create some turnovers and try and get some easy scores and... and you know, let's let's get back. Um, you know, let's let's outscore Adelaide this quarter and, and just see where we can be at three quarter time and, and then re reassess and go from there. All right, well done, Rhett Biglands, Tyson Edwards. As we go to the break, Dale Lewis. Let's go around the grounds for near map aerial imagery. Now uh, the Suns by a couple of goals now, boys. 61 plays 49, 18 gone third term. Trying to do a free and win back to back wins. Rocket Eden and the Suns. Back with the second half at the Adelaide Oval shortly. Adelaide 15-6, Essendon seven goals two for McDonald's Triple M Rocks football.